Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 73. In this video, an improved X-Chain search algorithm will be presented. This video has two prerequisite videos. The first is DX Sudoku training video number 55 on types of Sudoku links. And the second is DX Sudoku training video number 41 on the X-Chain puzzle solving technique. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When searching for X chains, we cycle through all the possible candidates 1 through 9. For this example, we are currently showing all the cells having a possible 2 candidate now highlighted in green. Once we highlight all the cells having a possible 2 candidate, we search for all the cells having an either or link. An either or link is a relationship between two cells where either one cell is true or the other cell is true. Both can't be false and both can't be true at the same time. It's either one or the other. In this example, we find three sets of either or links now outlined. The first set is in the house making up row two, the second is in the house making up row nine, and the third is in the house making up row five. Since the X chain chaining sequence must begin and end with a strong link, each of these cells now outlined is a potential starting and ending cell in our chaining sequence. We identify all the potential starting and ending cells in our chaining sequence. Next, we choose cell 2, 3 as our starting cell in our first attempt to create a chaining sequence. We also add the first strong link to begin the chaining sequence as shown. Notice how the candidates within each cell use an alternating color sequence of purple and green. After adding the first strong link from the last cell in the chaining sequence, we try every weak link strong link path looking for a sequence that results in target candidates being killed. We add the first weak link strong link combination as shown. We have a weak link between cell 2, 7 and cell 9, 7, and we have a strong link between cell 9, 7 and cell 9, 4 as shown. Every time we add a strong link to the chaining sequence, we check to see if any target candidates can be killed. The kill zone is defined by cells that share a house with the starting cell and the current ending cell in the chaining sequence. For the current starting and ending cells in the chaining sequence, the kill zone is currently highlighted in red. But in this case, as you can see, there are no target candidates to kill, so we continue building the chaining sequence. We add the next weak link and strong link combination as shown. We have a weak link between cell 9, 4 and cell 7, 5, and we have a strong link between cell 7, 5 and cell 3, 5 as shown. This time, we do have a target candidate to kill in the kill zone. The logic for the X chain is as follows. If the starting cell has a value of 2, the target candidate is killed in the kill zone. If the starting candidate is not 2, then the logic of the chaining sequence kicks in and we end up with a value of 2 in cell 3, 5, as shown. This also results in the target candidate in the kill zone being killed. So the logic for how the X chain works can be summarized nicely. Essentially, we end up with having an either or link relationship between the starting cell and ending cell in the chaining sequence. And since there is a weak link relationship between the starting and ending cell with each target candidate in the kill zone, we must conclude the target candidate in the kill zone is a non-possible candidate. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 73. Please support DX Sudoku. Thank you for watching.